Hey, hey, Taurus. Welcome. I'm Rena Wells, and I'm here to do your reading for July for love. Twin Flame Soulmate. Let's see what's going on. I know it's like halfway through July already. I don't even know where that went. And <laughs> I don't know. I got so busy, so I'm sorry, but they're meant to come out as they're meant to come out. So this is for July. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new, welcome. Hi. Welcome, I'm running a sweet steak, so make sure you like and subscribe and follow and comment on the video that I've linked down below for the sweet steaks. I'm giving away my beautiful tarot deck, which you're going to see me using today, which is called Cosmic Tarot. I will pay shipping, handling everything to wherever you are at, so make sure you subscribe, comment in the video linked down below, and like that video as well. And I'm giving away two readings, a 30-minute recorded reading and a live one-hour Zoom session with me. You can ask all the questions you want. All right, so let's take a look for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to my subscribers. You know I love you guys. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I love hearing how things resonate for you. And I love working with you guys. It's awesome. It's truly awesome. I'm really blessed. I'm really blessed with you guys following me and working with me. It brings my own confidence in my own work as well, too. So, mwah. love you guys. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. What is going on? Headspace, heart space. Wow, Taurus. You got somebody new coming in, is what I'm feeling very quickly here. We have in the headspace the Knight of Wands. I feel like you've been manifesting something, is the feeling that I'm getting. We have the Lovers in the heart space. We have the King of Wands in the action. Someone's about to action, okay? Take action here. And we have the Nine of Pentacles in the outcome, being single. I feel like you've been single for a while, and I think, I don't even think you're going to see this coming, Taurus. I think you have a secret admirer is what I'm getting. Um, or you never thought this was going to happen. What is going on? Things may have been halted in the connection with the chariot in reverse. What is going on, Taurus? Who is this person? Knight of Wands. Clarifying two of cups in reverse. So something may have ended. And someone wants to come towards you now. Let's clarify the lovers here. Three of Cups. This is a reunion. This may be somebody from your past clarifying the lovers and the Three of Cups in your heart space. You may be feeling this vibration that somebody may have ended something and is coming towards you now. But there's a King of Wands here, that, that King of Cups in reverse, that may have been blocked in their emotions before, but they want to take action to surrender to come towards you. So, Taurus. Somebody is watching you. I'm getting that feeling. Nine of Pentacles. We have the sun with the strength. Two major arcana. You've been very strong and very illuminated in your path, Taurus. That's really what I'm getting. You've been happy, single, doing your own thing. Very strong. And you've grounded these roots very strong in your life with the strength card. That's why I put the, when I made this card, it's like, look at those tree roots. You know, it goes deep into the soil. And there's something in regards to, you know, you being quite content in your garden, turning your back on things that don't serve you and being like, yeah, like this is my, I know what I want, but somebody is about to surprise you. Hold on. Paisley, I'm working. <sighs> Seriously, teenagers and their gaming. So let's take a look at the two of cups in reverse. So something has ended. Something has ended. And somebody wants to come towards you, Taurus. Yeah, they're closing off a past situation. Taurus. They've gone with them. They've been doing their own healing. So if you haven't heard from somebody in a while, this is, they want to return to the past. The Eight of Cups in reverse. They're coming back. Somebody is coming back. Okay. And I know you may not want to hear that a past person, but I'm feeling like this may not have been something that actually, I don't think it's somebody that you've had a full blown relationship with. I don't think that you've done the whole thing, live together, do all that. I'm not feeling that. So I'm feeling it's somebody that you may not even realize. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, um, I had met somebody through my dad. My dad is a CEO, for, was a CEO for the, one of the biggest companies down here in the Caribbean. And I met his, his co-worker's son and his daughter. My daughter are the same age. They were born in the same month. And... I didn't think there was anything 15 years later we've reconnected like and there are sparks so 
you don't know. It's something like that kind of situation. You wouldn't have even thought, you know, and it takes you by surprise. You're like, oh my God, I actually have a connection with this person. Wow. And um, somebody, so that's kind of like the scenario. I, I think it's not somebody that you've already had a full blown connection. They've been admiring you or you may have bumped into them and spirit was bringing that through for you, Taurus. So let's take a look at your heart space here because we have reunion, friendship and the lovers. Somebody's just recently ended something and they're coming towards you. We have the five of cups. So there may have been regret here for a new beginning. Somebody in whew, ace of cups and ace of swords, Taurus. What is this? You may have had regrets in love and I feel Taurus that you may just not even be looking. Like I feel like you're doing you. Clarify that five of cups, but there's like stability, truth, admissions, uh, clarification, communication. You may be thinking, why doesn't love happen? Like whatever, I've given up on it kind of thing. Yeah, about to be revealed because you're holding this emperor status. You're rebirthing something. Something's about to be revealed to you, Taurus. Something of a new, your life's about to change, Taurus. Okay, we have the four of pentacles with the king of pentacles in reverse. So something wasn't grounded before with, with somebody and they've been hanging on. Somebody's been hanging on to this connection. Somebody's hanging on to you or you're hanging on to them. But there's definitely a hanging on energy. Whew, it's like hot in here. Um, they may have been blocked in their in their heart space here, but somebody's actioning with this king of wands. You may have a choice. Some of you may have a choice between two people. That could be it for some of you too. That one person's blocked you ended a relationship and because they may have decided to return to somebody or return to a past or something like that. And you don't want to deal with that. So you're moving on and you may have a choice now to choose somebody else. That could be very well for some of you. Sorry, it's so stinking hot here. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this. King of Cups in Reverse. What is this King of Cups in Reverse for Taurus and the King of Wands? Yeah, Death in Reverse. So I feel like it's a rebirth. Um, it's not an ending. It's a restart. You've already gone through the death pro process, Spirit is saying, where you've been blocked. I think you've been blocked. Manipulated. I feel you've been manipulated in love, Taurus. And you have I feel like you've given up. I feel like you're like... You know, that shit's done. I'm done with manipulation. I'm done with this kind of vibration. And now a new person, because you've shifted your vibration, there's a new vibration coming. Yeah, there's an ending of a separation here with an emperor. Wow. This is this could be your twin flame, okay? With the empress and the emperor coming out. Could be a divine counterpart that may have left. So that's for some of you, for sure. And they don't want it to end. And they may have manipulated because they were blocked in their heart space. Is what I'm seeing. They're coming back. Someone's coming back. <laughs> this is the message that I keep getting. So let's take a look. Being single, free, illuminated on your path, strengthen your path. You're looking good, Taurus. You're looking good. You're doing your own thing. You're you're taking care of yourself. You're ending contracts and 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 basically breaking things down with people around you that don't suit your needs you just don't want it anymore and you're definitely doing that we have the page of wands in reverse yeah you're getting off the old path so that you can give your cup to somebody so again you may have recently broke up with somebody somebody may have has recently broken up but you're definitely moving onto a new path to like give your cup you're taking your cup away and only being very stringent with who you're giving it to so spirit sometimes channels weird words through me stringent stringent yes you're breaking it down taurus that's what you're doing you've had an awakening of manipulative obsessive sexual energy could have been a sex addiction you could have been dealing with someone with a sex addiction could have been that you were falling into old sexual patterns that weren't healthy for you okay taurus can be very passionate but they can get very lost in all of that dark sex stuff which is, you know, I'm just going to say BDSM and things like that are only to be used to transmute into light. It's not a thing to live out of and to only know. <laughs> it's to transmute. 
so there's something about that if if that resonates for some of you but it's about this devil energy karmic energy could have siphoned your connection could have taken that with some kind of addiction and this masculine is wanting to come back to you let's clarify that devil energy yeah the nine of swords and the ten of swords wow Scorpio got this too. So if you have Scorpio in your, in your chart, I would go watch that. But this came up for Scorpio as well. Very painful energy. This killed you, Taurus. I think it made you reevaluate how you were looking at relationships and love and intimacy and all of those things in your life. Because this really um, broke you. And you've taken the time to heal. And you've been taking the time. And somebody now wants to come towards you. What is this emperor here? What is this emperor for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Yeah, the wheel hasn't turned yet. So somebody is contemplating this action with this King of, Sword, or King of Wands. Sorry, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. They put a halt in their life. Like they've just stopped it. To get this wheel turning. To come towards you and travel to see you some may have to go across water some may be communicating very shortly yeah because they want to end their pain here so this masculine um could have been overly controlling in the past and blocked in their heart space and may have rejected you with that page of pentacles and something really broke you taurus and now you're like at a place of like you've awakened with this tower things have been coming down you've been breaking things down for your own resurrection i was clarifying the tower look at this two beautiful cards here massive breakdown for illumination and that's what happens that's what i was saying about the sex stuff to an addiction so no, there's nothing wrong with going into bdsm and doing those things with a partner but you can't stay there or the devil and the evil things will get you and siphon you you have to have a very strong soul connection with somebody to transmute into light and I feel that you've been looking at something like that. That's coming through too. Or your person is realizing that with their own addictions that they have to transmute with their person. Because we do have counterparts here. Wow. Let me take a look at the time on this right now. So, yeah. I feel like I need to pull some oracles. Because this is very... Somebody is coming for you. Somebody's watching you too. That That's really what I'm getting. Oh, yeah, Spirit. Let's pull that deck. Third spring that deck out. Let's do the divine counterparts and separation. Look at that. As I'm saying, I was seeing the spy card. Look at this. Look at this. Don't do it. Don't do it. I was seeing this in my head that someone's spying on you. And look at what was on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> That's what I was saying. That's why Spirit was showing me the vision. They're like, pull out the deck. So let's see if it comes out again. Because that's what I was feeling. Somebody is watching you. Somebody you have a secret admirer. Okay. You may know if it's a twin flame. You, you may know who this person is. And for some of you, it's somebody brand new. You may have a choice between two people. Okay, union, on my way. Like, what is going on, Taurus? This is really beautiful. Is it Taurus or is it Sagittarius I'm supposed to be doing? Taurus, you're not going to believe this. I had this weird... I'm sitting there and I cut the video because I was like, what is going on? Because I... Sagittarius came through so strong for you and I'm like am I supposed to be doing Sagittarius's reading or am I supposed to be doing Taurus's reading and I haven't done Sagittarius yet I thought maybe I already did Taurus's reading when I went back to my so I stopped the video and I went back to look at the other videos that I've already done on YouTube and I'm like I didn't do Taurus I did Virgo and Capricorn so Taurus is what I have to do and I'm like did I do Sagittarius I'm like no I did Leo and Aries so i haven't done sagittarius yet i'm about to do it after this one i will definitely do it but you may be dealing with a sagittarius that is coming back and it's it was super strong okay that i even had to pause and be like did i not already do this reading no something is happening for you taurus in a really big way okay so yeah there's some big energies coming in for you taurus some very big energies coming in for you okay and it could be linked to a Sagittarius Sagittarius season or strong Sagittarius in your chart or your person's chart okay let's see this is for Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node for Taurus please and that's why I was pulled to this deck because they told me to you're being spied on someone's watching you yeah someone's like you are my shining star and these are the energies that have been coming through lately 
dead inside. Oh, death to the old, right? They're putting a death to the old ways. And I've seen that already. They're closing off the past. I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. This has been coming through my twin flame readings too. So I may be channeling your energy. You may want to go watch those karmic reads and the twin flame stuff that I've been recently putting out for the last week. Okay. Cause that energy is definitely around in my collective. Okay. We have deadly sins. That's what I was talking about. This toxic sex stuff and the and the obsessions and the addictions okay there's something definitely happening here i'm not ready for what you have to offer this person is scared um i'm working on my inner issue this is all the same stuff that i you look at the reading that i did this morning this is all the same stuff that i've been pulling this morning okay completely taurus completely what I've been, yeah, this person is having hope because they're going through a rebirth. They're hoping that when they, when they're ready and they come forward to you, that they'll still be able to hold this light for you. You'll still have this light. They're having a spiritual awakening and they've been pushed into an internal journey. I need some space. This came out last night as well. Taurus, I can't make this up. Like there is something profound that's about to happen for you. I, I definitely feel that. Okay. Let's take a look at your romance angels. I mean, to the point where I was like, did I do Taurus? Did I fuck up on the readings? Like, no, Sagittarius? No, I didn't do that. Trust. Trust Taurus. If you've been needing to hear this message, you need to trust. Yeah, pay attention. Look at this. To the red flags and codependency. So, listen. You may have to clean up certain other things in your life right now with codependency addictions because um, whoever's coming towards you is also doing the same thing. Or you may have been pulled to like clean up your life as well. Just pay attention to the things around you that's keeping you trapped is what I'm getting with those cards, okay? Uh, to do your, your healing work as well. Let go of control issues. Scorpio got that as well too. Engagement. Your love life is about to go to the next level, whatever that is. I feel you've been working on these issues, Taurus, okay? The codependency, the attachment, the engagement, um, the engagement that level yourself up in vibration, letting go of control, okay? Yeah, a reconciliation. I can't make this up. There's something happening with divine counterparts. True love is on the bottom of the deck. Free yourself. I feel you have to free yourself of these deceptions of codependencies for this to come in. This is your soulmate, and there is a new love coming in, okay? For some of you, you may have a choice between two, but no. That's pretty much what I'm seeing here. Let's take a look at your angel answers. If you have a question, you can ask. Um, there might be a, something about divine timing that shows up. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications if you want to enter my sweepstakes and get a free read from me uh, take a look at the link down below all you have to do is like and subscribe and comment on that video won't take long and i am doing the draw on the 23rd i believe so yeah so we'll see what happens and thank you to all my subscribers as always i love you guys so much truly appreciate that your support that i get to do this for a living Truly, it's, it's amazing. Thank you. What is going on for Taurus? There's something better. So I feel that you, something had ended and you moved and you did your work. You're like, there is something better. And I feel like you're still taking your night of that cup and you're still moving away and being like, there's something better. So I don't even know if you're even expecting this at all. Okay. There's a peaceful resolution in your life that's coming. If you never got closure of a situation, I feel like you may be getting closure very soon. Because I'm going to communicate clearly with you and come forward. And I don't know if you'll take this person back. Unlikely. <laughs> Some of you might be unlikely because I feel like you may have a choice with somebody else. But I feel this person may want to fight for you. So just be ready for that Taurus. Yeah, let go. <laughs> So you have to keep letting go, especially if this is a twin flame situation. I think this is like also a pointer to show you if you're on a twin flame journey for some of you. Okay, this is, remember this is a general read. But for some of you, I feel that you're, this point, this reading is showing you. See when you let go, the energies merge back. So keep letting go. Keep moving in that direction. Keep taking your cup and trusting your journey here. Yes, because if you believe it will happen, okay? All right, Taurus, that is your read. So much love. Um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know how this resonates. That was a little crazy. Let me know if you're if you're dealing with a Sagittarius because I'm about to do that reading right now. So I'm 
excited to see what comes up for that. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.